Welcome to the Dozen Trivia Tournament 2 presented by High Noon. Real vodka, real juice, only 100 calories. And I'm enjoying the drink of the summer, a pineapple flavor to be exact, as you get ready to watch. The championship match in the Dozen Trivia Tournament 2 presented by High Noon. It is the oldest rivalry in the Dozen. Brandon Walker, PFT, and Fran of the experts, the Dozen's original team, go up against Cinderella, the 10 seed up Town Balls, Lenny Balls, Tommy Smokes, and Smitty. The second dozen match ever back in 2020 featured a head-to-head -head showdown between Brandon and Smitty. And now, two years later, they will face off with the winner becoming the champion of the dozen. The experts, the original team, Uptown Balls, Cinderella. One of them will be crowned the best trivia team in the world. It's the Dozen Trivia Tournament 2 presented by High Noon Championship Match. And it all starts right now. It's the Dozen Trivia Tournament 2 Championship Match presented by... High Noon, I'm your host, Jeff D. Lowe, and here we go from July 2021 to June 2022. 12 months, 100 matches, it comes down to this. One more match of trivia for the championship. We will crown a new championship, championship, champion, here tonight. On my right, it is the five seed. They took down the Misfits. They took down Chicklets. They took down the Frankettes. It is the original dozen team. PFT, Fran and Brandon, the experts, the five seed, one win away from being champions. On the other side, a team that's probably played third or fourth most matches in the history of the dozen, the second team to ever play on the dozen. They defeated Smokin, Gen XYZ, and ZD. It is the 10 seed, Tommy Smokes, most improved player of the year, and all star. Also, they're all all stars. Wow, you must have sucked last year. 20 balls. No, no, I'm like John Morant. And Smitty, it is Uptown Balls, the 10 seed for the title. Brandon. Yes. How are you feeling? I feel best for the dozen. I feel good for us. I feel good for them for being here, but I feel best for the dozen. We are the flagship, and to have us in the championship makes it mean more. The dozen has finally arrived. I think it's good for the game that we're yeah, here. It's good yeah, for the I, game. I so you, you played how many, like 70 matches, and it only has just arrived, even though you've we been played, a part of most of We've played about 200 times. You've not, you have not. Well, it's, well, it's more than 70. This is only the 214th match ever. It's more than ever. 70. We've played probably 87 times. This is the most important match that we've right. ever played in. Also, just like, let's be honest, I, I got to call it out if I'm looking at it. Like, Glenny Balls looks fantastic. He's yeah, got yeah, the I shirt. Do, He's one button. button away. Are you fully unbuttoned or well, one I mean, look at that. Down here. Okay. Look it's at like that. Major League. Every victory, we pull off a button. That's just, it's a beautiful so sight. So here's your Rachel Phelps. I got to yes. say, for the first time in the last couple of days, I walked, uh, saw myself in the mirror today in the bathroom, and I said, holy fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this hat fits. I have yeah. not done that once. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Smitty wore that hat last year. Other side. Oh, Fran, PFT. Oh, uh, I, Jeff, I would like to say something. I'm very excited to be here. Okay. I'm happy that we made it this far. I'm very mm -hmm. proud of my teammates, and uh, let's win this. I mean, Fran said it all. Yeah. I, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'd like to thank Jeff D. Lowe. I'm going to thank him now just in the event that we lose. I probably will be a bad sport after. I know Brandon yeah. will be a bad sport after. I will after be a terrible sport after. Um, win so, or lose, I promise you. So <laughs> before we get started, I just want to say congrats, Jeff D. Lowe. You put on another... World class tournament. The set looks beautiful. Thank you to all the crew. Didn't build the set. That's but the people did are amazing. Yeah, well, true, amazing. Uh, Jeff, I'm trying to thank the guys behind the scenes yeah. as well. Uh, <laughs> these guys are doing all the hard work. We appreciate you, and it's going to look great. I'm sure of it. So thank you guys. Other side. First time you guys play, <laughs> Smitty. Very, very heated. Fiery exchange between you and Brandon. That was a long there were time cheating ago, accusations. Jeff. You're much better friends now. You fucking cheated. You know, <laughs> clear answer. You don't. You you don't belong here with us. The rest of us are smart. You're a fucking idiot. You cheater. You have the Holy Trinity. Let's go. Way. You well, fucking cheater. Great win. Well done. Great win. Will Tommy? Speak, they will not be back next week. They may come back eventually, though. If Brandon just quit, so I don't know if I'm ever gonna have Smitty on again because he's required to be on this show. But maybe a little long time, two year revenge here? I wouldn't say revenge. It was probably right around this time. Look, yeah. Jeff, thank you very much for this, but obviously, this is Diva Walker's show. He needs to win today. If he doesn't, he might not survive or come back tomorrow. So we welcome the challenge. Congratulations to the original team, Brandon Walker and PFT, for coming here. Plus, Nate, who apparently, or excuse me, plus Fran, who apparently is still Nate's property mm -hmm. yep. in Everyone the Dusman universe. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Good. Frequent mix up. If I had a nickel for every time I called Fran Nate. <laughs> uh, Glenn, Tommy, 
Yeah, I mean, it's been quite a run, uh, but we didn't come this far just to come this far. We're showing people that we belong. We're a blue blood, and we deserve respect with the best tournament teams. Well, you're teams. not a blue blood. I mean, you're an up-and-comer. No, we're not. We're not I, a think, I think... He said you're a blue blood. I, no, I, I think... I think why why are you inside. pulling the... They are Cinderella. Blue blood. No, we're a blue Cinderella. Blood. Cinderella. Okay. How are you a blue blood? You stay over there, hairdo. Where are, are you a blue blood? We're Cinderella. I agree. We're Kentucky as a nine seed. Damn right. That's fair. Who are the blue bloods of the dozen? You, the yak. Frank and the Frank Edge. Manahan pretends to be one. I mean, Chicago is. I think they are too. I think they are too. Hey, they're a Cinderella, Cinderella, Cinderella run too. We're a five seed. The committee yeah. had us at a, at a five. Yeah. We're, a ten. we're like we're Kentucky, but we're a five seed. Okay, we got Cinderella enough. versus Kentucky Cinderella. Kentucky is a ten versus Kentucky is a five. Played twice this year. Uptown Balls won once. Experts won another time. Here we go. 18 6 0 on the season. 7 3 and 2. They Boys. first played over two years ago in April 2020. And here we go the 5 versus what the 10. Win today. For the we walk today. together forever. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. We're good. For the title. Let's have some here we fun. go 24 questions, Let's 12 rounds fun. of trivia, 25th being the bonus round. You have three lifelines. You can double up any category you want. Big yawn from balls. You can double up any category you want. Three times a huge yawn. Third yawn, I've noticed all of them. Three and ten minutes. They've all been massive. Sleepy balls is probably the worst balls to play. Can't double up category six, and you cannot pair your other lifelines with any double question. Those other Two lifelines are the double sip, double sip presented by High Noon, sir. Uh, I will. Yes. I love <laughs> call, lemon. I, I love, love High Noon lemon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Call uh, call a friend if anyone's in the office that you want to call. We'll give them a chance. Uh, update by the way, this is not airing in real time, but Mincy in the previous match was phoned. We thought he might have been mugged on the train. He was he, not. He, he was he okay. okay. Right. So an update. Here. If for some reason at this point in time on in June you don't know Mincy's okay, he is okay. I was still mugged. Guess, by then and now, something could happen over the next two That's weeks. Yeah. Two minutes. Yeah. Mint, right. Is Mince okay? <laughs> right. Right. You never know. Uh, if, and I'm going to add a little something to this, if if the experts win, Ben Mintz will be handing the trophy to Brandon Walker. That's not necessary. Uh, if Uptown Balls wins, Robbie Fox will be handing it off. So Very necessary. necessary. Huh. Yes. Here we go. First category, NBA. NBA. This is for the experts. You'll go first every round. Brandon Smitty, final answer, people. 35 seconds on the clock. What active NBA center has had this 2015 to 2022 career path? Houston, Clippers, Lakers, Wizards, Hornets. It's... Nothing's happening for me right now. Nothing's happening for me either. <laughs> I've gone JaVale McGee, no, cross him off. I've McGee. gone Dwight Howard, cross him off. I've gone every, every center I yeah. can. Should we call Coley right off the bat? Right off the bat? I don't want to lose this one. Right off the bat. I mean, we, if we don't know it, Coley's going to know this. Five. Four. We're going to phone a friend right okay, off the bat. Okay, this is unlike anyone in the oh office. Coley is not here. If he does not answer, that's a bricked phone oh, call. That's a problem. Oh, boy. I talked to Coley. We're good. Okay. We talked to Coley. They talked to Coley. Smitty, you know it? I Defe saw that. Nice to have Coley involved. I defending, know this one. Defending champion. Also, we have the, we're flanked by the dozen, the new trophy, uh, and the, uh, the Nooners, the Nooners valuable player, the MVP. New FaceTime. We're, we're getting the FaceTime up right now. Yep. Yep. Just want to say you've been doing a great job. Okay. At the com we can, I appreciate the compliments. We can just like, stop the compliments. I like your shoes. <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. How's your... McMahon. We need you right off the bat. What active NBA center has had this 2015 to 2022 career path? Houston, Clippers, Lakers, Wizards, Hornets. What was the last one? Hornets. This year. It started in Houston? Yeah, started in Houston, stopped at the Clippers, Lakers, Wizards. Here. 15 oh, seconds. that's um, Montrez Harrell. Montrez Harrell? That's correct. Yeah. I love you, you Coley. Finaling it. I, Finaling I, do, I do too, Coley. That yes, is correct, yes, Montrez Harrell. Come on. That's yeah. probably pretty yeah. good, but I believe yeah. they knew it. Mm -hmm. Well, we should have known it, so I bet they did know it. One to nothing. Echo. Okay. Coley, just gave, Coley just gave me one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Other side. What active NBA center had this 2011 to 2022 career path? Charlotte, Toronto, Orlando, Charlotte, Phoenix. All right, let's think. Who are the big men on the Suns? It's obviously not DeAndre Ayton. It's McGee. No. No, he was on the Lakers. Yeah. Um, do 
that we call Coley. <laughs> I don't have a cool elf. I think they know it. Who? Is Ten seconds. The fucking sons. Charlotte. Like back to Charlotte. Five. Bismack Biombo. Four. Plumley. Three. I think go Bismack Biombo. Bismack Biombo. That is correct. Tommy Holy Smokes God. remains Woo! on fire. Bismack Biombo. One to one. You saw so so my face. I judge Brandon's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poker face, Brandon. Learn. Double real. Celebrity mashup doubled up for the experts. I will note, Fran obviously the best. Glenny Ball is pretty good as well. Mm -hmm. The three best at celebrity mashup might be Fran, Balls, and Biz. Really? <laughs> next good too. Yeah, next good. So I was just typing in Biz. Biz needs some love. So like He's rich. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck him. Here we go. Name the two celebrities in this photo experts. Okay. Kevin Bacon and Shailene Woodley. Shailene Woodley. Yeah. Final, Sorry, you final. didn't need the help. I just that yeah. is correct. Just going for that MVP. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean I just I wanted Shailene to help Woodley, you. Kevin Bacon. PFD will not get credit for those points. Of course not. Okay. <laughs> I don't deserve it. No, it's, yeah, it's, which I think he understands. Yeah, of course. Other side, three to one. They have used their double. Name the two celebrities. Ben Stiller, Stiller and Kristen Stewart. Yep. Frank. Ben Stiller, Kristen Stewart. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> that is correct. Three to two. Right. Double off the board for the experts, but used very well. Once Glenn. again, Fran Worthy goes perfect. Hey, it's good trivia so far, boys. <laughs> Great Fran trivia. goes perfect in the tournament on Celebrity Mashups. It was, too. You guys used Phone a Friend first round. But. Well, we got it right. That's yeah, well, it was a do. good use of the Phone a Friend. Chain restaurants, next category. Chain restaurants. Okay. Can we call Glenny? Here we go. <laughs> what is it? No, I'm sorry. It's board material. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> experts. What American fast food or casual chain sells a small crispy chicken sandwich on their menu called the Chicken Slinger? American is the type of food, by the way. I just want to note that. It is an important note. That's why I put that in. So, small crispy chicken. I have a guess. I have a guess, too. Mine seems almost too easy. What was your guess? Zaxby's. Let's go with yours. What, what's yours? I was going to say KFC, but like that, it's too simple. They had the zinger strips or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was that exactly. what they had? Is that what I'm thinking? That's probably what I'm thinking. Do you so. think, mm, should I double sip this earlier? No, five. Let's no, let's go to Four. I, Zach. Three. He, he went right to the red X. It's, it's not KFC. They have the chicken little. Mm. I don't know. This is probably wrong. White Castle came to mind that, for some reason. Mm. That, why did he? Why did he clarify? Nice fake out. Why did he clarify <laughs> America? <laughs> yeah. Why did he? No, I mean that's a good point. Well, like he, five. Let's go with White Castle. Four. I got three. Nothing. White Castle. Sonic. Sonic has a slang. I never have Sonic. I stop at Sonic <laughs> three times a week. <laughs> I never have my Sonic. way home. Yeah. I That's only get chili cheese, tater tots, and a Route 44 sweet tea. Chicken slinger. And I get my kids. Mm. My, my mother is watching. The amount of money I spent on, um, um, never I won't Sonic say the company, but ordering Sonic drinks to my house when I was home in Austin. Almost oh. got kicked out of the family. It was not great. I Good ice. Been great ice. I've never been to Best Sonic. ice in the world. Best great. ice in the yeah, world. Sonic Uptown ice. Balls, a chance to tie here. What fast food or casual chain Rose. sells a signature item on their menu called the Home Wrecker, a big and legendary. Yeah, Home Wrecker, this guy had in high school. I can't even tell Let's you. Let's go. Moe's, Moe's Southwest Grill. That is correct. Moe's, three to three, tied up. I love a good Home Wrecker. Moe's a big Long Island. All my oh, Long my Island God. friends. I used to run a Moe's really? scam. Oh yeah. I used to run a <laughs> scam at Moe's. You'd, you'd give up. You give you ten scam family. Your you give ten family members numbers, and then you put in ten numbers each time. So every time you go, you get a free Home Wrecker. I did it in high school. So you never <laughs> paid for one. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I literally ran a Mo scam. <laughs> I think the statute of limitations is up though, so. <laughs> I don't think it is. It's a Rico I don't think it is. <laughs> it was like How 10 years you? ago. It was 10 years ago. Yeah, it's a Rico charge. <laughs> They're gonna get me the Rico predicate? <laughs> yeah. uh, Major League Baseball. Double. 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 Always double baseball. This is for the experts for one point. In 2015, his Dodgers outfielder made the all-star team during their rookie season has not made the team again since then. All right. Feel confident they know it's what you're going to talk. Mm -hmm. Dodgers outfield, you're going to be talking. Uh, Yasiel Puig. Yeah, well, he's not in the league anymore. Yeah. Bellinger, Muncy. Max Muncy? I think, I don't know how long he's been in the league. Ten seconds. There's another one. You have your double sip, but I need something in five. Sure. Four. Do you want to do that? Three. Yeah. Double sip. All right, first guess. My high noon double sip. Okay. 
Bell Cody Bellinger. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Max Muncy. Max Muncy. It's Puig, right? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's Puig. He, he, might, have been, a, he oh, might have been around in 23rd. But I think it's Yasiel Puig. Yeah, but not made this team set. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Yasiel Puig. Good. Good. It's the other one. Jock Peterson. Yeah. Ah, oh, young Jack. Okay. Oh, that's something. Mm -hmm. All right. They use their double sip. Other side to take a two-point lead. Lifeline's gone. Here we go. We're aggressive. In 2010, this Braves outfielder made the all-star team during their rookie season has not made the team again since then. They were they were binging all star teams earlier. Hey, just think. I think Two Brandon points. knows it. He just grabbed my back. Pull my sleeve. Yeah, he's sending all it's these like, like little, all these little cues, these tactile earlier, right? cues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he was a brave. Nonverbal signal. That was brave. Yeah. Literally, it's good communication. Ten seconds. Who else is on the Braves? They're in all these guys. Think who used to kill the Mets? Five. Uh -oh. Four. Uh -oh. Smitty. Three. Uh, right, two, right, right. Michael, Michael Bourne. One, incorrect. Other side for a two-point steal. Is it Jason Hayward? <laughs> Are you asking me? Yeah. I mean, you tugged on my shirt, so Maybe I assume that you know what it is. Five. Confused. Go, four. Jason Hayward. That is correct. Yeah. Wow. Five to three experts. Huge. A huge Big steal. steal. Big, Big steal. Big steal. Brandon. Big steal. But he is a Braves fan, but it was gettable. I'm not really a fan. Really? Mm, not really, no. You see me on any Brave streams? It was gettable. It was their question. It was very gettable. Other side. Too gettable. Five to three experts with the lead. Double off the board, but up the ball, you have both your lifelines. Here we go. Next category is music. Music. Based on two seconds, release this 2010 song. 2010 song, here we go. This is for the experts. Uh, that is, is that Foster the People? Pumped Up Kicks? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Foster the People, right? Yes. That's, the, that's yep. the name of the band? Yep, yep, yep. So, yep. Foster the People. Final answer. Six to three. Other side. 2011. 2011. To make it six to four. Somebody, Somebody that I used to know. No, absolutely. It's, like it's a one hit wonder. Is it like Gautier or something? Yeah, Gautier. That's it. Gautier, final answer. Ballsy is correct. It's Gautier. That is correct. Six to four. Big pull by Balls. Two point lead. It is niche category time. The category for the experts, Sublime. The category for Uptown Balls, Entourage. For two points, this is for the experts. Which Sublime song contains these lyrics? The day that Same I die in the will end. be the day that I shut my mouth. Same, wait, the day that I will be the day that I shut my mouth and put down my guitar. Sunday morning, old church down at the bar. Get down on your knees and start to pray. Pray my itchy rash will go away. Same in the end. Final answer. That is correct. Eight to four. Uptown balls to make it eight to six. All right. Let's go, boys. In season one, when the gang goes on a group date on opening night of Head On, Turtles date leaves in the chase. What celebrity? I believe this is um, Tommy's boy, Jason Bateman. Teen Wolf. Really? Teen Wolf. I believe it's Bateman. Sure. Pretty sure it's Bateman. Yeah, Jason Bateman. It is. That's correct. Eight to six. A match in the niche. We go to the bonus one, round. One bonus right Two right. point hey, advantage hey, hey, hey. Right. for the experts. Leave it behind. Leave it behind. Leave baseball That's, behind. That was a hard question. <laughs> Cars is the theme, oh my sort of. God. I'm not a car. Sort of. I'm not a car guy. Sort of. Sort of. You do not need to be a car person. You don't need to be a car person. Here we go. For a huge two points. Here's the question. Name the 30 states in the United States with the most registered automobiles. The most registered automobiles. One second. Let me get in place. Okay. 30 states? We're going 30 fucking states here? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. California. All right, New York. New York. Let's go Texas. Texas. City. Florida. Florida. 
go. I think big electoral states. Ohio. 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 Michigan. 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 Illinois. Illinois. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Sudden death. Um, Georgia has a lot of these things. Yeah, it's good, Georgia. Yeah. Georgia. So. In Indiana. Sure. Indiana. Uh, you want to say Virginia? We do. Virginia. North Carolina. I like that. North Carolina. You say New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. If Jersey has it, if like Massachusetts has that. Yeah, they have a lot of electoral votes. Yeah, Massachusetts. Sudden death continues. Um, Washington State. Five. Washington. Four. South Carolina? I mean, it's top 30. Yeah, I don't think so. South Carolina. Stay in the South? Mm. If you like Minnesota. Yeah, that's good. Minnesota, that's great. But I like uh, Ohio. It's on there, it's on there. What about uh, Wisconsin? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh, Louisiana. Wisconsin. 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 How's Arizona as an electoral state? Uh, it's, mm. it's not bad. Um, I'm trying to think if... Five. Yeah. Four. Arizona. Three. Arizona. What? Missouri. Sure. Or Louisiana. Missouri. Yeah. Missouri. Colorado. Colorado. Want to go Louisiana? Louisiana. Sure. Louisiana. Alabama. Five. Four. Three. Maryland. Two. I have one. I mean, Connecticut could be? Yeah, Connecticut should. I mean, if Jersey and Massachusetts are on there. Five, Smitty. Four. Tennessee. Three. Tennessee. Tennessee, Tennessee was a good poll. Kentucky's got two metros. Close. <laughs> well, two deep. Louisville's a pretty. Yeah, that's Kentucky. Kentucky. Four. Kentucky. Uh, Alabama? Did they say that? No. Or Connecticut. Five. It's probably more cars than Four. Connecticut. Connecticut. Oklahoma. Oregon. Oregon. Alabama's not a bad one. Um, if Louisiana's there, I think Alabama should be. Mississippi. Yeah. No, Alabama would be. Five. Alabama. I don't know what we're going to do. Oklahoma. Uh, Delaware. Five. Four. Three. Oklahoma. Two. One more left. I mean, Delaware's not the worst. If Oregon's on there, what about Washington State? They, they said there. Delaware is not. Five. Delaware. It's here, Delaware, Mississippi. Really Four. Or Iowa. Three. Delaware. Three. Delaware. Two. Delaware. It was Iowa. Oh. Iowa was the last one on there. Ten to oh six. My God. Experts lead wow. it. Hey, Holy Brent, hell of a call at the end. Four point lead. Hell of a call. Holy shit. I'm exhausted. For the experts. That was, that was, wow. My heart is like a heavyweight racing. fight. <laughs> that might have been the best bonus round of all time. That's up there. That was pretty oh. wild. Oh. Just name states. <laughs> yeah. I actually hate those types of bonus rounds, <laughs> Jeff. That's why we did it. Because it was it was electro Yeah. Here we go. Four point lead. Twelve points remaining. Next category is college football. We want to double. double it. College football, this is for? That bit never okay. gets old. Never. <laughs> for the experts. Everybody has bits. This is Jeff off so much. <laughs> I just don't even, I just don't listen yeah. to it anymore. One wide receiver from Baylor has won the Fred Bolitnikoff Award, doing so in the 2010s. Who is it? Is that Josh Gordon? No. Or is it the other guy, the guy that? Um, it was Bryce Petty's boy. Mm hmm. It's not Josh Jackson. He was from TCU, but it was the same year. 
Uh, I think Jeff has asked a question about this guy before. Uh, I, I see him. It's 2014. I know this. I don't know his name. Wait, which is w, problematic. Is it like a W? Like, no, he's like six. He's like... Wilson, Williamson. Or was five. It? Four. I don't, I don't, three. I don't have it. Two. Have it. One. A steal opportunity. I have one name in head. I don't know if he went there. Doriel Green Beckham? No, I think he did. Did he not go there? Who else? Went, who, who was Baylor wide receivers? There was, he was a five, he was... I mean, it's, it's obviously something with an L, ball. something like Luttrell. Five. Oh my God. Four. Laquan three, Treble, maybe? Two. Laquan Tre Treble. It's Corey Coleman. Corey Coleman. Oh. Corey Coleman. He's on the Browns, right? Okay. Other side. Hey, Jeff, one one ten to seven. Open. One new open, boys. Yep. Come on, Tom. It's okay. No, no, we're good. One wide receiver from Notre Dame has won the Fred Bolitnikoff Award. Doing so in the 2000s. Who is it? You want to call Big Cat? Oh, it's a Samarja. That would be a crazy. There's no way. I mean, there's one name I have in mind. You have two lifelines. You're double sipping. I would, I would call a friend. Big Cat. I feel like he. It's Notre Dame. It's around his time. I have a guess. I do too. All right. Yeah, we're gonna call Big Cat. They want Big Cat to come on in here. Should have called Nick Mulcahy. <laughs> oh, he's actually not here. No, I'll say probably <laughs> Notre Dame friend who works here. Great guy. Are we just relying on the fact that we said Big Cat's name out he, loud? They can call someone else. It's not Big Cat's not here. That's been the rule. Because he he was. I hear him. Do we? I thought I heard him. <laughs> Somebody had a, a, a throat clear the sound of Big Cat. It did sound, sound like his throat. It sounded like Big Cat clearing honest, his throat. I'm very familiar. You work too much when you know your I forgot. employee's throat clears. Golden Tate. Yeah. Oh, Big Cat doesn't want to read it. Well, I read it as oh. I was on the phone. Oh, that's true. Phone, that's okay. And then I saw it on the yeah. TV. Okay. Golden Tate. I mean, it's easy. Final answer? Yes. Yep. Big Cat helps out Uptown Balls. What was your guys' I missed mine. It was Corey Coleman from Baylor. Brown's guy. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> yeah. why I said that's where Tom's keeping this. Go. Big help. Ten to seven. A little bit of a quick one. A little bit of no, a. Uh, tape. I thought it was too much no. easier. Than Chipping that. away at the lead. Three point lead. Next category is going to be brand logos. Not done this all oh, tournament. Wow. Brand logos. You get three brand logos. We're you have thirty five seconds to identify the three brands. Right, Here them. they are. This is for the experts. What? Well, I don't, three in thirty five yep. seconks. We're doing thirty five the whole tournament. Okay. We said fuck. Relax, it. brand. No, it's. That's a reasonable question. Okay, I think I, I think I know the middle one. Yeah, that's Denny's. Yeah, the one on the right is at uh, the, the gas station, or is that 86? No, the... It's Mo Mobile or Mo Sh Shell? No, it's not Shell. It's not Shell, that's the Shell. What's the one that's, Wait, other one that starts with an S? What's the blue one? That's, is that Pennzoil? Sony? Samsung. 10 Samsung. seconds. Samsung? No lifelines, and I need an yeah. answer in. I think I like that. Samsung, Denny's. Three. And two. Sunoco? One. Golf? Golf. Yes! Oh, Correct. Oh my God. <laughs> Who knew it was a gas station? <laughs> I mean, that was wild. I knew it. That's cheap gas. That's all I could afford. Other side. <laughs> other side. Other side. Name the three. I think I know the last. I got two. What's the first yeah. one? Is that Pizza Hut? I thought it was like LG. You know the right? The right is one of those banks, I think. I know the middle. The right? It could be Enterprise? Is it the right? Ooh, yes. Yes. What's the first one? I thought LG. Then we'll let it. I thought it was a food. If you're double set. It could be LG. Yeah, let's, do, let's do LG, Pizza Hut, okay. John Deere. Wait, wait, wait. Well, do, do, do you want to? Double yeah, dip. Double sip, but you gotta tell me something. Do you want double sip? Do we have other stuff? Double sip. Double sip. Double sip. First guess. Let's do LG John Deere Enterprise. Yes. Pizza Hut John Deere Enterprise. Oh, is it little CCs maybe? Five. Little four. Little three. Little CCs John Deere Enterprise. Is that? Did they say little CCs? They said little CCs. I'm thinking CCs is the name of the pizza place, right? I know that's John Deere, that's Enterprise. Right. I don't know what, CC is not, is not a bad guess for the one on the left. CC's John Deere Enterprise. Okay. It's Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. It's Pizza Hut. Oh. Huge no, missed pizza. Hut. opportunity, four point lead with four rounds remaining. Not over yet. Movies next category, no lifelines remain. This is for the experts, movies. 
This SNL alum has roles in MacGruber as the main character's dead fiance and in Popstar as Deborah, a sponsor's representative. Is that Kristen Wiig? Could be Wig. Um, no lifelines anywhere, by the way. Popstar. Oh, I've never seen Popstar. That Wig. would be my, I, yeah. I would. Kristen Wiig is, is in MacGruber. I don't know if she plays the, the dead no, fiance. No, she's in 15 the MacGruber seconds. skits. Is she in the movie? Yeah. Okay. I would, I, yeah, I would go Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig is our guest. Kristen Wiig, final answer. Other side. Big well, opportunity. That was going to be my guess. Maya Rudolph? Maya Rudolph. Not a bad guess. Bad one. Who else was an alum from around that? I've seen Polar, Faye. Mm, Maya Rudolph's a better guess, I think. Smitty, I need something I'm down with in. Rudolph. I right. like Rudolph. Maya Rudolph. Correct. Yeah. Uptown Balls gets one back. 11 to 8. I like to make Rudolph. it 11 like 9. Rudolph. Here we go. Pop star. Fantastic movie. Never seen it. This SNL alum has roles in Pineapple Express in a flashback scene at the start and in Forgetting Sarah Marshall as Peter's stepbrother. Bill, Bill Hader, final answer. That is correct. It's 11 to 9. Uptown Balls That's within big. two with three rounds to go. That's big. Hey, take care of ourselves. Take care of ourselves. This take is for our the experts. Right, three rounds left. NFL. No lifelines. Jake DeLome and Seneca Wallace combined to start eight games for this AFC team during the 2010 season. Rounds. It's gotta be the, it must be the Browns. Seneca Wallace was on the Browns. Right? Jake DeLone played on the Browns. Mm hmm. Jeff DeLo loves the Browns. Don't second guess it. I'm going. Browns is what, that's what my balls say. I trust your balls. I do too. Browns. That is correct. Your balls are correct. 12 to 9. Best Other balls side. in the room. Other side. David Carr and Vinny Testaverde combined to start 10 games for this NFC team during the 2007 season. All right, so it was after he was on the Texans. I mean, David Carr eventually went to the Giants, but Eli started the whole year. Um, who else was David Panthers? Carr? Panthers? Panthers was like, the Lomas of the Panthers. The Giants played them in the playoffs. Yeah, but that's no, not a good question. No, I know. 15 saying. seconds, Smitty. If you miss and they get... Locked for at worst overtime, but I need something, Smitty. In Tom. Panthers is all we have. Five. Go Panthers. Four. Three. Panthers. Two. Correct answer. Twelve to ten. That would be bad if we got Vinny Testaverde on my legend. Yeah. Monica High School. Well, I mean, geez, you're, saying, you're saying Delone played him in the playoffs there. I thought we were. No, they were fucking <laughs> <It's> suicide. <laughs> I don't know. I, the, I, the Giants I, didn't play the Panthers. TV. I was, they didn't. I'm saying. <laughs> TV. You're in winning them. territory. Oh. TV. This is for the experts. Carrie Coon starred alongside what lead actor in the show The Leftovers, which ran for three seasons from 2014 to 2017 on HBO? It's an offensive name. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I never watched The Leftovers. I don't see it. names like that. I, I never saw it either. Did you see the show? No. Tommy, what is it? Tommy, lock the fuck in. That's just his face. Ten seconds. Just say somebody who would have been, like, Steve Buscemi was obviously Five, by the Empire, but just say four, a name. Three. John Two. Hamm. John Hamm. Hey, could, could it also be an actress? No, there, there's, a, there's a lead. There's a lead in this. I think it's Justin Theroux. Sounds good to me. Justin Theroux, final answer. 12 to 11 is Justin Theroux. Uptown Ball's a chance to tie it. Here is your question. Don't always, I don't know who Carrie Coon is. Emily Mortimer starred alongside what lead actor in the show The Newsroom, which ran for Jeff three Gaines. seasons from 2012 to 2014. I, yeah, I, I don't know. think so. It's got to be Jeff Daniels. Sure. Go for it. There's nobody else that's starting the newsroom. I've never seen The Newsroom. Jeff Daniels. Daniels. We are tied up going into round 12. That's wild. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. crazy. That's a Round 12. That's wild. They ran for the same three seasons. The Leftovers showed in my hometown. The Leftovers was back. on every billboard in the world. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. You guys are deducting the oh, you answer. You got That's it's crazy. The, the, the Leftovers filmed Jeff's in Malvern, New York. Great job. He's doing an awesome job. Leftovers is a huge show. One of the highest rated. A little depressing for the summer. That's fair. Hey, we get our question. We're good. Last round. We're tied up 12 good. apiece. Anyone wins this round, wins it all. If not, we're going overtime. Jersey numbers, Jersey math is the last round. Jersey math. Both of this category has doomed both of these teams. 
hate this. So it's category. only fitting we end with this. I think this is what we lost on last year. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, the jersey numbers. He knows was, what he's doing. I hate this category. Both teams hate this category, so fuck it. Here we go. This is for the experts. Braylon Edwards, Cleveland. Elton Brand, Clippers. Hunter Pence, Giants. Braylon Edwards, he was in, he was in the teens, right? Elton Brand. I don't know any of these numbers. Okay, so I, I, I definitely, I definitely don't know Hunter Pence. I have an educated guess on Braylon Edwards, and I'm pretty sure I know Elton Brand. But if we don't know Hunter Pence and we're five, Braylon Edwards, let's just not four, say anything. Say eight, three, pick a number. Uh, two, five. Yep. Do you guys know Elton Brand? That was actually going to be my guess. Yeah, I think yeah. Elton Brand's thirty-two. I, Braylon, Braylon Edwards is seventeen, and Hunter Pence is eight. Is he eight or eleven? Pretty sure he's eight. All right, okay, so that would be fifty-seven, right? Let's just twenty-five plus Seventeen brand. and thirty-two is forty-nine plus eight is five. Seven. Yeah, fifty-seven. Uh, Correct answer was sixty-seven. Oh, yeah. Sixty-seven. That Brand was, was forty. Brand two. Yeah, Brand uh, was forty-two. Who was it? Four. Forty-two. The championship oh, uptown balls. Hey, don't give out Four any the unless you know all. Thirty-five seconds. Think about it and then just say what you know to each other. Corey Dillon, Bengals. Chris Webber, Kings, Carlos Gonzalez, Rockies. I fucking love cargo. I have two numbers in mind for Gonzalez. I have I no fucking idea on the other two. I know Gonzalez. I think I have the other two. What is it? Was that like? Uh, just, just tell me, just tell me Gonzalez. I'm pretty sure it's 27, right? Was he 27? That wasn't the, Yeah, but that sounds right. I was going to go with the other ones, but that sounds right. Can you say what you were going to say? It's going to say 25 or 32. I think he was 27, I think. 20, all right, let's try okay. 27. Oh, okay, okay, I got the other one. 10 seconds. Make sure the math is right. Say the numbers out loud. No. I want to make sure Five. That's right. Four. 82. For the championship. 73? What's Corey Dillon's number? What did somebody just say? Was he 32? They said 27 for Carlos Gonzalez. We're at 59. Chris Weber. I just don't Five. Think. Four. 60. No, no. Okay. Three. Okay. Two. 67. We are going to overtime. That oh, is incorrect. What were they? What were they? 37 is the correct answer. So Who was Carlos Gonzalez? Oh, is he five? Cargo is five. Who's Carlos? He's five. Cargo, Rockies, five. Here we go. Well, I, me, I hate okay. that question. Jeff. Uptown Balls, down four, has well, set anyway. it to overtime. <laughs> this is intimidating. This is so Championship intimidating. Intimid uh, championship right, overtime. Hey. World populations is the theme. Uptown Balls, fourth time this season they've hit overtime. That's ridiculous. Other side, second time, I believe, one of them was against this team. For the championship, team with the most after five rounds is the champion. This is champions of the dozen. Here's the question. One at a time, remember. One at a time. Name the 25 most densely populated countries in the world with greater than 25 million people. So the most densely populated countries in the world with greater than 25 million people. Okay, I'll tell you what, let, let's start out with, the, with one that I'm Okay, sure timer okay, for the championship. For the championship, timer okay. begins okay. now. Okay, let's start with Indonesia. Indonesia. Great Britain? Sure. We're, I, okay, yeah. Yeah, I had a different one that I know is bigger in Europe, but do that. Okay, so no, five. What, what? Germany. Four. Germany. South Korea. South Korea is a good one. South Korea. Balls. Japan. Japan. Uh, you want to say England? England. We'll pull up the United Kingdom, all that. Um, I, mm. I feel like if Germany's Who's on there. What like, are the other ones you said? I feel like if Germany's that, on there. That's why I said Great Britain. I feel like if Germany's on there, like France could be on there. Yeah, France. France. Three rounds, three to three. No, it's fine. I got Singapore. Wait, are there, is it big Vietnam? enough? Vietnam? Five, four, three, Singapore. two. Singapore. Singapore. For an advantage. Oh, no. For the Paisans? Italy. For the Paisans. For the Paisans. Oh, no. Italy. That is correct, you need this. No, no. Think about it. I know they're big, but China or India, they got a billion people. Say India. India. Yeah. 
<laughs> if India's won, China's got four. No, four China's won Thailand. Thailand. The win. Thailand? I like Thailand. Jeffrey D. Lowe? Thailand. Cinderella has a yes! of the dozen. <laughs> Holy two. shit! Up town Holy falls shit. in overtime. Holy shit! A huge comeback Holy and win it here in the end. Unbelievable. Balls. Oh my god, we've collapsed all season we've, and we come back. Balls. Holy shit. Pop my new clues. Uh, experts before, but we, we will talk to you guys in the post game. Experts before we go. Brandon, Holy Fran, shit. PFT, thoughts? I blew it. I blew it with Singapore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all Holy the shit. <laughs> sorry to all the believers out there. Sorry to Fran. Sorry to Brandon. Uh, it's going to be a long off season yeah. for me to think about that. Yep. But I'm going to sit here and I'm going to watch them I celebrate. I was going to say Vietnam. It wasn't on there either, so you're fine. I said that. It's, it's on there. You did. That's my Wait, you did I did that. just think Poland at the end. In Nepal. China was on there. Should have started with China. Oh Vietnam's God. on there, Brandon Walker. Yeah, is Vietnam it? is definitely on there. It. It's on there, I'm yeah. Not, it's not, uh, okay, we're at the six. Okay, just a season wrap thoughts just before we close here. Congratulations to Uptown Balls. There's my season wrap thoughts. Fran, PFT. They played a great tournament. I'm happy for them. They did, they did. We will bring people in here. We will present <laughs> Uptown Balls with the trophy. The winners of the Dozen Trivia Tournament Season 2 presented by High Noon. Uptown Balls will be right back in a moment and with the presentation of the Nooners Valuable Player. See you then. What's going on, everybody? Jeff D. Lowe here, which, by the way, surprise, all the post-game stuff was on a green screen. We were actually in the afterlife. Um, welcome to where we've been doing our post-game stuff for the whole tournament. I just want to give a, an extended thank you before we get to the uh, trophy presentation. First off, to High Noon for sponsoring this tournament, sponsoring the Chicago event, a bunch of our other matches. But without High Noon, none of this is possible. And just a perfect sponsor. Fits the theme, fits the vibe. 100 calories, real vodka, real juice, delicious. Pick up some High Noon. Big thank you to High Noon. Also, I can't rattle off every name that helped with the tournament, but I'm going to throw them all on the screen right now. You're looking at them, whether it's graphics, editing, uh, audio, people behind the scenes with camera work, social, all that. Uh, it is a big haul to get this thing done, and everyone crushed this year. It looked fucking incredible. It looked as good, if not better, than any game show you'll see out there. Uh, it was really fucking cool. So everybody who's on the screen right now who helped out, a massive thank you to them. And then, of course, an even bigger thank you to all of you at home, ladies and men, ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, everywhere around the world who watched... Thank you. Uh, without you, the dozen is absolutely nothing. Whether it's your feedback, your cheers, your booze, uh, it all helps us make a show that hopefully you like to sit down at home or wherever you are and watch day in, day out. Uh, we started this season in July 2021. We ended it here on the second day of June 2022. The off season will be longer, so you can boo me now if you want. We will not be back until probably about September. Uh, we're going on tour in the fall, multiple live stops, not just in the Northeast, too, a little parts across the country, uh, many more details to come there. We're also going to take this time not just to relax and do nothing, but find ways to maybe, you know, throw some new wrinkles in there. We have some non-show stuff, too, we're developing. Much more on that. Uh, but again, without you, the show is absolutely nothing. So you, you can yell at me and be like, where's the dozen? But we won't be back till September, but I promise we come back. Uh, there'll be trades, free agency, all that and more. Uh, and hopefully season three is just as good as season two, if not better. I can't fucking believe Uptown Balls won. Um, but two of the original dozen teams in the championship, and it was easily one of the best matches we've ever had. So thank you to everyone who's helped out, everyone who's watched at home, high noon, all that and more. We'll see you in season three. Now enjoy the trophy presentation. All right, welcome to the trophy presentation, the Dozen Trivia Tournament 2, presented by High Noon, here with our champions. Thanks to everyone in the room here, everyone who watched, but it's now time to give out some awards. The Nooners, valuable player, the MVP of the tournament, and the winner of a $25 gift card to Cheesecake Factory. How about this? <laughs> with Dave's name on it. Tommy Smokes, the MVP of the tournament. Tommy? Thoughts? I mean, I feel pressure to cry and uphold the Coley legacy, but no, this is incredible. It's fucking insane that we won this. <laughs> like, it's, it's laugh out loud funny we, that we won this, but no, it was an incredible tournament. Jeff, 
Thank you for all you do for building this. It's incredible how much everyone cares to come in the office like this, the culture around it that's been built. Gooch, Robbie, everyone behind the scenes. They're the same person, but I just want to <laughs> name. Everybody behind the scenes, everybody that competed, Brandon, PFT, Fran, the original uh, people on the show. Uh, yeah, it was incredible. I, I, Smitty and Glenny, I mean, the three of us, <laughs> this, this goes to all of us. I, I didn't have the best last game. Glenny was unconscious with some pulls. People doubted us all season long. <laughs> General, general. Hey, it's a team game, and the team came through. I'm just glad that we were able to uh, uphold and take over Brandon Walker's show. Hopefully, wherever he is, he'll have shoelaces and good fighting. Good night. So, uh, Glenn, before I give you the trophy, thoughts? How you feeling? You had big yawns in the beginning, but didn't seem to matter. We did yawn four times. I'm hoping that Billy Joel shouts us out at his next concert. This <laughs> yeah. is the only Billy Joel. It's still insane the that they were playing. A Billy Joel song just a block from the garden in our office. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. a bagel yeah. shop there, playing Uptown Girl. Ever since then, there was never a doubt. Uh, also, shout out to my my mom and sister who sent donuts to everyone, but I think someone like took them and ate them, so that's a shame. I love my mom and sister back Thank home. You. Here we go. Let's do it. The champions from last year, Mince and Robbie, give it over here. The champions of the Dozen, season two, Uptown Balls, Glenny, Tommy, and Smitty. <laughs> 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 <laughs>